In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride, that's HCl, but it's HCl as a gas. So if you have the name hydrogen chloride, that's HCl gas. Hydrochloric acid, it's still HCl, but it's dissolved in water. It's aqueous. So that's the difference. Usually you're just asked to draw the Lewis structure for HCl. But it's good to know the difference between hydrogen chloride and hydrochloric acid. So let's draw the Lewis structure for HCl. First, we need to count the number of valence electrons for HCl. Hydrogen, that's in group 1. So group 1, all of these elements here, they have one valence electron. Chlorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7a. These elements here, with chlorine in this group, they have 7 valence electrons. So we add 7, 1 plus 7, that equals 8. So we have 8 total valence electrons for the HCl Lewis structure. So we write H, that's for the hydrogen, and then Cl, that's for the chlorine. We have 8 total valence electrons here. We'll put a pair of electrons between the hydrogen and the chlorine. That forms the chemical bond. And we've used two valence electrons. Hydrogen only needs two valence electrons to have its outer shell full. So we're done with the hydrogen. We have six more valence electrons. So we're going to put those around the chlorine, and that'll complete the octet on the chlorine. We've used all eight valence electrons. The chlorine, it has eight. The hydrogen has two. This is the Lewis structure for HCl, hydrogen chloride. Sometimes you'll see this shared pair of electrons right here replaced with a line. The line, this is a single bond, it represents that pair of electrons and shows that the hydrogen is bonded to the chlorine. We have a covalent bond here. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for HCl. Specifically, we're talking about hydrogen chloride gas, but this would also work for HCl, hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching.